Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. Uh, Ryder is doing great. If y'all are new to the channel, I just had my first baby boy. Um, he is five days old now, and he is sound asleep right now. So I tried to get out here as early as I could. Had to get some Black Rifle coffee uh, to start the day, but we are gonna do the European mounts today, like I had said in the previous video. So um, I went ahead and kind of cut off some of the skin off the axis because um, I didn't want that much to do in, in one sitting. So I have all three of these, the two black buck and the axis, uh, soaking in water. And I pulled the buffalo out of the freezer last night. Hopefully it's thawed enough to start skinning it, but um, I'm gonna skin this guy, take as much meat off as possible, and do the same thing with all three of them. Um, so I'm gonna put this in fast forward, cause it's probably gonna take a good uh, hour hour and 30 minutes to do all four of these heads um, to get them to where I can put them in the boiling process. So um, I am gonna try to go step by step with you guys um, on how I do it. This is the way my dad's been doing it forever. It's proved its way and I have probably 10 Euro mounts in my office that I can show y'all later that um, are at least two years, three years old and have no discoloration, super white and super beautiful. So. Looks like the hurricane is rolling in right now. It's pretty cloudy in the distance. So at least we got this thing to cover us if it starts pouring down rain. But show you a little supply rundown of what I have and what you really need to uh, accomplish this. And there is other ways to do it, but um, just a few simple tools and you can really make an awesome mount uh, to put in your house. So stuff like this that you don't really need. Uh, I usually get a couple pairs of gloves rubber gloves um i have my apron just to keep me clean i went and got um so this is 40 volume um hydrogen peroxide and i got six of those these are 946 milliliters and i got six so i do a 50 50 40 volume peroxide 50 percent water and that's the mix um and that's the last very last step of this process um, as far as the heads going in the pot. So you want propane, uh, pot. I guess you could do it over the fire um, if you needed to. That'd be cool. We may, we may try that one day. Do like a survival mount or a bushcraft mount. That'd be cool. And then I just have this little 1700 PSI um, electric pressure washer. I think I got it at Home Depot for, I don't want to lie to you, but it was maybe a couple hundred bucks maybe 150 bucks. It was not expensive at all for what it does. I literally power wash my house with it. I power wash my boats. I do all these heads and everything. So, um, and then I always have a blade that I can replace the blades on um, and I'm running low. So I got to order some more of those on Amazon today. But yeah, that's about it as far as supply goes. Um, you're gonna want some tweezers as well, like these, forceps. Um, the longer the better. It's gonna be hard on this buffalo because I'm not gonna be able to reach way up in his uh, nasal cavity to get all that gunk out, but um, we'll figure it out. Try to cut, try to blow away as much as we can with a pressure washer, but I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna set y'all up on tripod. We're gonna get this buffalo um, skinned up and as much meat cut off as possible. And then we're just gonna move down the line on the next three and then uh, I'm just gonna soak them back in the water until they're ready to uh, go in the pot. The first pot's gonna be a boil. So I have this big pot and this little pot, but that buffalo will not fit in that little pot. So I think I'm gonna do them all in the big pot. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with water, get it heating up while I'm skinning. Um, and then we'll just do a rotation. And I will try to show y'all as much as possible and enjoy. Probably three tablespoons of Dawn dish soap. I'm gonna put this in the 
wash and this will just kind of degrease it while it's boiling uh, the first time and then the peroxide will do the rest so I always set the heads in there see how much water we need we really need these horns to get covered so uh, so we can pop those horns off so this one's gonna have to be pretty cool and I can take a little water out whenever I do these other heads because um, they're not near as big as this buffalo skull. Let's get this puppy cranked up. We'll let that boil down and uh, once that skin starts splitting on the forehead, we'll start pressure washing. But for now, I'm going to start skinning the rest of these skulls and cleaning them up. guys all three of these are clean and uh, I took as much meat off as possible I ran out of blades so uh, this guy's still heating up it's taking forever for it to boil but um, shouldn't be too much longer I have to put a block right here so the wind doesn't hit it so much but I'll let you know whenever it starts boiling and then uh, I'm gonna do a rotation of all of them I'll start pressure washing the buffalo and we'll throw probably all three of these heads in and then I'm at to knock the horns off the black buck. I have to knock the horns off the buffalo too, but um, then we'll get the pressure washing. All right, guys, you probably can't hear me very well because this thing is blowing, but I just got the first horn off um, and I'm letting it sit out in the sun for a little bit, let it dry. But this thing is taking forever. This is, uh, I guess, it, just because it's such a big skull. Um, it's taking forever. I'm having to flip it over, turn it, and put each horn in one at a time. So I'll catch you whenever it's ready to power wash, and then uh, we'll throw these other skulls in. All right, guys, it is time to start pressure washing the uh, buffalo. So I'm gonna pull it out. We'll throw these other heads in, and uh, we'll get started on pressure washing this buffalo. So I just want to make sure these horns aren't getting a whole lot of heat, which they're not. It's plenty windy enough, but uh, I'll let those, those should be done boiling by the time I get done pressure washing this buffalo. Then we'll make our mix and start whitening. This is ready all the skin or the um, tissue has split apart and it's ready to power wash I'm just waiting on these black buck for their horns to get loose enough to where I can pop them off and then we'll pressure wash those as well
skulls are for the most part clean so I'm going to go ahead and make the hydrogen peroxide water bath. So I'm going to put all these in there and then we'll fill up the other half with water and get to boiling again. Right, guys, black buck are going in. Uh, it just started to boil. So I'm going to drop these in for about 15 minutes and uh, pull them out, pressure wash them again, and then we'll move on to the buffalo and the axis. All right, guys. No! Don't do that. There's one. Blacker than snot. Alright, let's do the buffalo next. We're gonna have to flip it after uh, after that half gets colored. Suggest you be sided in for. Roger. Yeah. Sorry. He didn't say I'd be ready. Buffalo looks awesome. We'll pressure wash it real quick and uh, set everything else to dry in the sun. All we gotta do left is the axis. So I wrapped his horns up with uh, electrical tape just to keep from that solution getting on his horns so I don't have to uh, touch up his horns at all but lay them in there just like that we may have to do a little bit of color work but he's got so much cedar bark still on him that uh, I think I'll just eat away that cedar before it eats away the color of his horns guys we are about done I'm letting everything air dry in the Sun but they are looking good we're gonna finish them off this evening once they get done drying um, I got to lay the horns out too so they can dry Nathan's getting ready for his elk hunt can't hit a target at 19 yards so good luck shoot good <laughs> so uh, I'll see you guys tonight all right guys the hurricane actually made it up to central texas i don't know if it's actually from hurricane i'm sure it is but a storm just hit us and it is coming down so i came in the office um everything dried out in the sun today all i'm gonna do is wipe it down with some mop and glow and then we will put it all together and uh glue these horns on coop you better stay up there get up there get your bed coop Coop, get in your bed. Cooper, get in your bed. Okay, you can sit in this chair. Sit down. Good boy. My office is a mess, by the way. I got the cats one to get into. Not yet, buddies. So, I'm gonna wipe these down with some uh, regular old cleaning solution. It's called Mop and Glow. And then uh, we'll glue these, super glue these horns on. That looks awesome right there. I'm gonna hang this up tomorrow and uh y'all see that i think so i'm getting my other all dad mounted and he's it's the same exact mount but he's gonna be facing this way so he'll be facing the opposite of what that one's facing and i'm gonna move that picture right there and put that mount right there so i have two big old all dad 
facing each other. And then I got my, all that above my desk. Y'all leave in the comments if I should change that all dad to the buffalo skull and move that all dad somewhere else. I can put that all dad like, I still got so much wall space that I can put animals in here, which half of them are at the ranch. Then I got my other all dad over here from uh, that New Mexico trip. So uh, hopefully we'll get a bigger one this coming year when we go. But we got a lot of room to fill European mounts slash shoulder mounts slash whatever else we shoot slash whatever else we hunt this year but um yeah i'm gonna get these wiped down real quick and um i will probably wait to glue the horns on till tomorrow just so i know that everything's dried up good um but i'll put everything on just so y'all can see what it looks like and i uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video so let me go get that stuff and uh, we'll get to cleaning so all i do is uh take an old t-shirt cut a sleeve off cut a cut a square off of it and then just stuff you can get at the hardware store or at the home depot um cleaning store whatever and then just wipe it down get a little coating and it kind of just shines everything up for you Makes it smell good, makes it look good. This stuff smells really good. This is how I've done every European mount in here. Um, and all the ones at the ranch have been done the same way. Like I said, my dad's been doing it this way for a long time. So, it has proven. And uh, I think a big key is that um it's the dish dawn soap that you use in the beginning which degreases it it works great on pigs or any oily animal um, you can also take this mop and glow and wipe down your horns and it will give them a little shine too and it cleans them up a little bit makes them look nice it actually makes them look a lot, a lot nicer than they were they kind of soak up a little more though. Just like that. And that's all she wrote. So I'm going to uh, do the rest of these, get them all shined up, and I will see y'all whenever, whenever everything is done. get y'all's little look for the day going to town on that pacifier all right good night all right i had to take you guys in there to say hi to little man before he goes to sleep well he sleeps all day but uh before mama goes to sleep so i just got done cleaning all of these skulls uh, they look amazing. They're all laid out. Um, but I'm going to take these horns off tonight. Let them dry in the AC. Axis turned out great. Um, yeah, I'm super happy how they turned out. This buffalo is awesome. It's just crazy how big their heads are. And that wasn't even a big one that I shot at all. I couldn't imagine a, uh, a true giant. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, y'all leave in the comments what else y'all want to see around the house. I got, I got a ton of stuff to do around here that I think y'all would enjoy. Um, so stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.